so today I am doing my March favourite. This is crazy. I can't believe like one fourth of the year is gone already. We've got less than nine months left because we're already into April. So my favourites are in this bag. I rounded them up from all over my house and in no particular order I'm going to tell you guys about them. So first thing, this is my new holy grail dry shampoo. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. It is the Polish London Dry Shampoo in Bonnie Blonde. It is coloured, so that's the colour there. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. This is amazing. Where did the lip go? There we go. This is amazing. The smell is, you know, lightly perfumed. It's not offensive, but it's just that I love the Dry Shampoo from Batiste. But the problem I have with it is even in my hair, which is quite light naturally, it leaves a white cast and it's just, it drives me mad. And I saw this at Priceline, it's like 50 mil less than the Batiste and it's like five bucks cheaper. So, got that, love it, I'm almost out, like maybe one more use left and then I'll have to race to Priceline and get another one. Because I can never be without. I used it this morning. And yeah, I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend it for blonde haired girls. Next. This is, these are new. This is my second pack. This is the Garnier Skin Naturals Refreshing Makeup Removal Wipes. These are my new Holy Grail Makeup Removal Wipes. One, they smell really nice. They smell like apples. Two, they're for normal to combination skin. So for my skin, I've got really oily combination skin. They're, they're slightly textured. They're a bigger wipe. They're about mm, that big, the size of my face. And they take my makeup off my face. I don't use these for my eyes. I use an actual eye makeup remover for my eye makeup. But it takes everything off my face. Like in one go. I only need one wipe. I don't need 20 million wipes to take my makeup off. Just, I love these. When I finish these up, I'll definitely repurchase them. I will repurchase these until they don't sell them anymore or I find another wipe that I like better. But at the moment, this is my favourite. Next, I've got a couple of skincare. <coughs> Three. Three skincare products here. I sort of, I've recently revamped my skincare routine and I am planning to do a video in the next couple of months there's just a couple of products that I'm not quite happy with that I want to perfect before I show you guys so the three that I have here are you know, all different price ranges I got them all at Priceline the first one is the Bioderma Sebum H2O I've recently come to the conclusion that my face does not like to be washed in the morning because it's just, it strips the oils from my face too much and I'm just like a grease ball throughout the day. But using this, it lightly cleanses my face, it washes my face, it gets it clean, but it doesn't strip the oils and it makes my skin feel really comfortable. The only issue I have with this is the price. This little bottle is 100 mils. This was 20 bucks, which is a lot of money for this. You know, a cleansing water. So, I've been sort of looking around. I'm interested in trying the new Garnier one. But every time I've gone to my price line. Hair in my mouth. Every time I've gone to my price line to check it out. To try and get it. They've been sold out. And so, I've just come to the conclusion that it's not meant to be. But yeah, I'm going to try my best to get my hands on that. And then, if I do get my hands on it. I'll let you guys know and it, I might do like a review between this and the Garnier one and see if they're comparable, you know, that sort of thing. Now next, <coughs> I've got something stuck in my throat, sorry guys. The next thing is this Simple Kind Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser. I'm about halfway done. I don't like how you can't like take the lid off, see how much you've got left. I love this stuff. It moisturises my skin enough to the point where my skin's comfortable it doesn't produce excess oils but it doesn't make my skin feel greasy and it is it's really really light 
I've used this all through summer and if you live in Australia you guys know how hot it gets during our summer. I wore this through the Melbourne heat wave and I did not get oily, I didn't get shiny, I didn't get that like when you put a moisturiser on that's too heavy for your skin, that feeling that you get. I didn't get that with this so I really recommend this. I will repurchase this when I finished it and yeah it's only 10 bucks too so it's really good. The last thing is in skincare range, I saw my bag and stuff, but skincare stuff to show you guys is this. This is the Nadio Aromatherapy Gentle Foaming Facial Cleanser. This isn't a foaming cleanser, it's a cream cleanser. And I've sort of been diving into cream cleansers and I've been really enjoying them. I find they clean my face really well. They clean my face enough, but they don't strip the oils from my skin like you know a gel foaming cleanser does. I'm really, really, really interested to try the Purity Made Simple Cleanser, but that is like $30, and I don't want to spend that amount of money. If I don't like it, one, it's a waste of money, and two, there's going to be like this big bottle of stuff that I don't like just sitting there. But, yeah, I'm going to wait until I've finished this and maybe get a sample because there's a Purity counter at my local David Jones. But as I was saying... This is a really, really nice cream cleanser. It's not like the traditional cream cleanser. It does foam a little bit, but nowhere near as much as what I'm used to. And I've been really enjoying it. I use this at night time. Just over the sink, you know, rub it around my face. This also, I found, had works really nicely with my Clarisonic, which I use on days where I wear makeup. So, yes, I really like this. I got this at my price line so most of my stuff I get I get from price line because it's easy it's accessible and I have the price line I love color. next thing oh I love this stuff this is in the old packaging this is the urban decay all-nighter spray I love it in fact I will show you guys how I do it so I've done all my makeup and I basically just do a tea and I cross that's it, it smells really it does not taste nice it smells nice, it makes my leg at last all day. I love it. Um, as I said, this is the old packaging. And they've redone the packaging, which I actually quite like more than this. But I don't want to buy a new bottle for the packaging when I've still got like a half bottle left. So, I love this stuff. Next is some lipsticks. Have I got them all? Yep. These are the Essence Long Lasting Lipsticks. I have four of them. The colours I have are barely there. Just like a brownie nude. I have Natural Beauty. This is my favourite one. It's just a really natural pink colour. I've been wearing this a lot. I have Wear Berries, which was in my Priceline haul that I posted recently. And then I have On the Catwalk, which was also in my Priceline haul that I posted recently. I love these. They're really comfortable on the lips. They're moisturising. They last a really long time, but they don't dry your lips out, which is good. And I can't say any more good things about these. I want to go back and get a couple more. That's how much I love them. They're on par with my MAC lipsticks. And MAC lipsticks are my favourite. So... Yes. Next, I have a couple hand creams. First one I got for Christmas in a little set from my mum. And it's by the Jojoba Company. <clears throat> it is the Lemon Coconut Hand Cream. This stuff is smells amazing. The only thing with this is I find it can be a little greasy. <coughs> it is a heavier sort of hand cream. So I've been using this at night. I'm almost out. Would I repurchase it when I finished it? Probably not just because I have so many hand creams that I need to use up that I've gotten in like subscription boxes or gotten as gifts or bought myself. Like it's one of the things, lip balms and hand creams I have an excessive amount of. So I won't repurchase it just for that reason but I really do enjoy it. Now the hand cream I have, this is the Almond Oil Daily Hand and Nail Cream from The Body Shop. I discovered this, 
like in the back of one of my drawers when I was moving. I've been keeping this in my school bag. This I will not repurchase because I was in the body shop recently and they, have, like, you know, I was in the body shop and I needed hand cream so I just used the one in, it's like the metal, the old style tubing. They've reformulated it and I hate the new formula. So this is obviously an older formula. Um, I will use it up, absolutely. Because they've reformulated and I don't like the new formula, I won't be repurchasing it. Next I have, oh this stuff is amazing. This is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I have the colour Cream Ivory, which is a little dark for me now. I need to get like the shade lighter. I discovered this in a box, unused, unopened, when we are moving and I pulled it out and I have fallen in love with it. It is my holy grail foundation. It lasts a long time. It is like pretty much a full coverage foundation, but it's not thick and it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable when you're wearing it. I love this. I will be repurchasing this. When this runs out, I will purchase the lighter shade just because we're going into winter. But cannot say enough good things about it. And it smells nice. Like I don't know. It just it it has a nice smell. I love this stuff. <coughs> so good. It is a little more expensive. It's like fifty nine bucks. But I think it's worth it if you're gonna spend the money on a makeup product to spend it on foundation. That's just the way I work. So we act noise guys, we've got like a door, like a back door right outside my room, so if you hear the noise, that's what it's about. I have some brushes. I have four brushes. The first one is this little Alme Kabuki brush. It came as a free gift when I signed up to the club card yeah, price line that I mentioned in my price line haul. I've been using this to blend everything out, so like if I'm wearing contour, blush, highlight, I basically, when I put all that on, use this and I basically just go. And it just helps it blend it all out and look a lot more natural and it is super soft. And it's pink, so, you know. I have three more brushes. The first one is the most expensive brush I've ever bought. I will not be buying a brush this price again unless it is like a wonder brush. This is the MAC 239. Everyone here on YouTube talks about this brush, raves about it, it's like the best shadow brush ever. And I agree, it is so soft. I use this for patting like eyeshadow on my lids and sometimes, you know, not all the time, I use it as a brow highlight. I love this brush. It was $48 though, it is very expensive. And if this ever breaks, I will cry because it is so expensive, but it's a beautiful brush. Next is the Sigma brush, which I don't know what's up with my Sigma blending brushes lately, but they've been really, really scratchy. So I've been on the hunt for some new brushes because I can't bring myself to buy Sigma brushes again because the last couple of orders I've made, the quality's not been as good as it has been and the prices are too expensive now, in my opinion. But this brush I love. This is the E. 50, which is the large fluff brush. I use this sort of the same way as I use the Kabuki brush after I finish my eye makeup. Basically just do this and it blends any harsh edges really easy. This is also really nice for highlight, brow bone, it's just a really good brush. And the last brush, this it brush is from Models Prefer, it's the airbrush concealer brush that I bought in my Priceline haul, which I posted a couple weeks back, this is amazing. I love this so much that I want to go back and get another one of these. <clears throat> and I want to try the foundation version. So, it's so good. I basically just put my sealer on. And that's it. It's blended. It's amazing. And it's so soft too. You know, in line with the foundation concealer brush, the concealer I've been using recently and loving is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place for Lawless Wear Concealer. I love this stuff. I have a mini one in my little bag that I carry in my handbag. I know I said in that video that. I put it in my school bag as well, but I've changed up my school bag and I just come to the conclusion that that amount of stuff 
for school is ridiculous. So I don't carry that big bag anymore, but I do carry this with me at all times, whether it be this one or in a mini size. It's just... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It is amazing. It, you know, it blends really nice. It covers everything you need to cover and it stays in place and it does not crease. That is my biggest issue with concealers is creasing. So, I know this is a little more expensive. It was like 33 bucks. <coughs> But I really, really recommend it. I love it. Wait. Four more. Wait. Five more products. I'll do these ones. Brows. I've been loving these two products in conjunction with each other. This is the Models Prefer Brow Fixer. Fixer. It's just, you know, clear mascara. They do not sell the clear Maybelline mascara. In Australia, from my knowledge, I haven't seen it anywhere, so I can't use that one. And I don't really like using clear mascaras that have a clear tube because they get kind of gross. And you see it. I like this because you can't see it. But this is great. This is holds my brows really well, but it doesn't make them hard. And then the thing I've been using to fill my brows in is by Mac. It is the matte eyeshadow in Omega. I was influenced to buy this by, I believe it was Tanya Burr, and I'm really, really glad I did. It's such a light, there it is there, colour, but it is perfect for my brows. I also throw this through my crease when I sort of want to do a no makeup eye makeup look, and I love it. I have two nail products. Have you been sensing a theme? Pairing, I've been enjoying pairs of things. This is my current favourite base and top coat. This is the Sally Hanston Insta Grip Dry Fast Dry Base Coat and the Sesh Feet Top Coat, which I am pretty much out of. Um, <clears throat> this is great. It dries like kind of tacky and it just grips your nails on. And I find I get a couple more days wear when I use this. The Sesh Feet is, I don't need to tell you guys about it because. It's a great product. The only issue I have with this is it shrinks on my nails after a couple of days and that drives me mad. So um, I probably won't repurchase it, this though just because there's a couple other top coats that I want to try that have been compared to this. The Essie Good To Go and the Sally Hansen Mega Shine I believe. I want to try it out, but if I don't like them, I will definitely go back to this. I have a mascara, and this, I'm going to put it down right now, is probably one of the best mascaras I have ever used, and it kills me on two reasons. It is an expensive mascara. It's by Dolce & Gabbana. It is the Passion Eyes mascara. This is just a little sample I got when I placed like a, an order onto Raz. The brush is pretty much the exact same as the Clump Crusher brush, which is another reason that I bit the bullet and tr brought that mascara. The other thing that kills me is this is not available in Australia. And that ticks me off. You know, they release something and then we have to wait like a year, up to 18 months for that product to be released here. And yes, I know you can buy it online, but sometimes I like to look at products in store. But I just, it's one thing that really cuts me, like all these beauty gurus talking about how amazing like with the colour tattoos how amazing they were and we had to wait 18 months for them so yeah I love this mascara I cried yesterday because it ran out but you know I busted out the clump crusher this morning I'm wearing it today I'm liking it I like this more though the last product I have to show you guys is an eyeliner and I never thought I would have an eyeliner in my favourites videos because my eyes are hooded and whenever I line my eyes, for one, I'm crap at it, but it just closes my eyes off and it doesn't work. But I bought this about maybe two months ago, maybe middle way through January, I don't know. I've had it for a while. It is... It is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. Now, I purchased this because I was influenced by Rachel Jade 
and I will link her channel below and I also will link Tanya Burr's or Tanya Burr's channel below. She talks about, Rachel talks about this all the time and I can see why it is oh, such a thin liner. It's actually a brush when I first got it I thought it was a sponge like um like a doe foot applicator not a doe foot like um you know like the line stiletto liner is um no this is actually a little brush and it makes the there's a line there such a thin line it is so easy to use I'm able to get right in at the base of my lashes and do a really thin line just to define the eyes and it doesn't close my eyes off I will have to buy a new one of this because it's almost out, but I love this. Um, it's my favourite liner because I don't really own liners except the coloured liners that I use on my lower lash lines. So that is everything that I have been loving beauty-wise in the month of March. I always forgot what month I was doing, but yes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you saw anything in this video that you want me to do a review on, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get that review to you guys. So yes, that being said, I don't think I have any... No? No news for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. And as always, stay beautiful.